Oh boy. Ah. <sighs> Absolutely. Of course. I'm counting on you. My ears deceive me in actuality. Speaking of... Right on! Fascinating. I gotta do this! What to do? Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. I see. So basically... 
Let's see. Thanks. How's that? I gave you an order, Nadir. Yes, sir. You sure did. Then explain why we remain on this side of the mountain staring at that wretched fortress! Did I not command you to gather enough soldiers to push through? Yes, and I did all that. We actually have the numbers advantage by some margin. But the enemy commander Holst is a born leader, and his men are bound to fight like demons. I'm sorry. Are you suggesting some cowardly savage is a superior commander to me? The next king of Almyra? Not at all, not at all. Merely pointing out that storming a fortress tends to be one of those time-consuming sort of things. In which case, the current state of affairs proves to be exceedingly fortunate for you. As we speak, the Imperial Household fights to hold power against the Empire's nobility, while the whole kingdom bickers over who should wear the crown. There will be no reinforcements here. Take whatever time you need. I admire that optimism. Uh, but, as I recall, the King instructed us not to attack yet. That was before the situation changed. Father will hold me in great esteem for this. Mark my words. Also, Khalid has been absent for a good while now. And I wager he's plotting some mischief. But once I've conquered Fodlin, it won't matter what folly he attempts. The throne will be mine! Prince Shahid! Enemy reinforcements have been spotted! What? <laughs> no matter. There can't be more than a scattering of them. Send in what's left of our troops and crush them all! Thank you for traveling all the way to Fodland's Locket. I'm Holst Sigisvald Goneril, in command of defense here. Claude Von Regan. I've heard a lot about you over the years. We're here to help you hold the locket in whatever small way we can. Ah, House Regan's new scion. I've heard a fair bit about you as well. I'm impressed you were able to scrape together this many troops in so short a time. Duke Oswald has clearly chosen his heir wisely. Also, I can't express my gratitude enough at seeing so many young people offering to serve. Whoa! Look at the muscles on you! Your regiment must be epic! Oh, I'm Raphael Kirsten, by the way. Nice to meet you, Holst! Do not address him so casually, you oaf. This is General Holst, one of the Alliance's finest and bravest warriors. Well met, General. My father sends his warmest regards. So we're gonna fight alongside a famous general? <laughs> No pressure there. Yes, I, I know when I'm out of my league, and I am clearly way out on this one. Maybe I should go back to the monastery. And I as well. Enough, both of you. This is no time to be cowards. Our enemy's just over there. Are you gonna hide like field mice, or will you find some courage and fight?
My weapon stands ready. I want to see what Holst here is truly capable of. <laughs> Your classmates are a real colorful bunch, Hilda. I like them. Thanks, Holst. But if we're all done catching up, we might want to focus on the enemy army that's headed right for us. Oh, so they are. The sight of your forces clearly lit a fire beneath them. Fortunately, the locket is impregnable, which they'll soon discover the hard way. Good luck, all. I'm counting on you. To battle! Crush the enemy, reinforcements and all. Today we pry open the gates to foam. I'm not a child. Are you ready to send these troublemakers packing? Because I have a plan that'll do just that. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I will. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see... Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. All right. Here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Theoretically, I'm all ears. But first, we need to do something about those soldiers closing in on us. Yeah. 
Buckle up. This stronghold is crucial to our defenses, and we can't let it fall. Myrans think they've got muscle? I'll show them muscle. one and all. Now, perhaps the Alliance representative would like to fill us in on his master plan? Right. Since the central approach is crawling with enemy soldiers, we'll start by capturing the strongholds to the north and south. The drawbridges here can only be lowered from one side, so we should make sure it's safe by taking any strongholds in the vicinity. Can I ask you to hold the center holes? You're the only one of us who can do it. I'm here to help. Make use of me. Holst Sigiswald Goneril has entered the fray. General Holst, we need help! <laughs> Hurry! We have to save our knights! Well, if it isn't Nadir the Unstoppable, no problem. are you ready to settle the score? For the last time! It's the dare the undefeated, and I know you're doing that on purpose. looks good on me. That was close. My thanks for your aid. Now is the time to stand our ground. Call, kiddo. No but if you value down. your neck, I suggest you stay far away from me. And here I was just thinking I'd give my fighting skill a test. If it looks like we can't handle you, we'll come up with another way. I'm souring on this whole affair, but if it's a fight you want, I'm your man. Sounds like Nadir could probably be coaxed off the battlefield. I mean, unless you really want to have a crack at it. The nerve of this one! No time to slow down. That's that. If you keep holding back to this, you'll have to retire that overblown title. Sorry. I'm the damn the undefeated, because I know when it's smart to run. 
And I'll come back to no end you when I damn me. well feel like it. No problem, I got it. My moment has arrived. My end. We're too late. I'm so sorry, everyone. Take a we'll avenge you. Are you changing places? <sighs> Aiming higher. Stronghold down, one to go. On the flying units, use arrows. Well, that's definitely working. Keep it up. Ha! <laughs> 
problem. I got. Take a breather. We changing places? My turn? from this land. Keep aiming higher. Troops at the center don't exactly have the highest morale. Once they realize we've got them flanked... Who told the Central Force they could retreat? 
All remaining yeah. troops. Now we just have to go after their jet. They're scattering like leaves. Job strategies really are cut above. Are you holding our troops yeah. back? Deploy them now! All of them! Out of the way! I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. You can count on me. I'll do my best. All right, here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Let's try this. Let's see how... Ah! Let's take it down at once. Now, charge and attack. Let's try this. Let's see how... We'll trample those brutes into the dust from which they came! We have more enemies incoming. Time to make a name for myself. Yeah, let's do this. Forward ho! I think this will go well. I'm prepared. is in danger. So easy. <laughs> Pretty good for a scrawny bird. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got this. You can count on me. I'll... It's not over. Yeah, not. Hit them hard and... Fast! 
All right, take it down. Progress looks good on me. I shall trample all without exception. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry. All right, here I go. There's nothing. All right, here I go. There's nothing these must. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Got it. Time to make a name for myself. Now it is my turn. There is nothing. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. down at once. Now we have the enemy surrounded. Brilliantly played, young Regan. They got behind us? Those impudent worms! Fine, then. I'll put them in the ground myself! Gotta keep aiming higher. You stand in the presence of Shahid the Great, next king of Almira. <laughs> I thought I recognized you. You look just like my horror of a little brother. Then for your brother's sake and my own, it's time to put you in your place. Here it comes! Take this! You're done! No problem, I got it. Yeah. 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 Well. For a pack of brutes. My moment has arrived. Sorry. Blame me up. How dare you challenge me? I would make my escape if I were you. You're not gonna like what comes next. You swine. Turn that loathsome face from my sight. 
In every way, you remind me of my wretch of a brother! I will be the end of you one day. I promise you that! <sighs> Shouldn't we go after him? Nah. At the end of the day, he's still royalty. The last thing we need is some army tromping in here trying to avenge him, you know? <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. Progress looks good on me. Nobles must be strong. I'm still just a delicate flower, you know. I feel like I've grown. Still bulking up. I'm aiming high. I won't let myself stop here. <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. <laughs> Another trick up the old sleeve. Getting stronger. I have this talent hidden away. We did it! We won! We held the locket! Honestly, I expected more of a struggle. For some reason, the Almirans just didn't have the fight in them. If they were serious about beating us, we probably would have found our backs against the wall. What matters is that we're safe, and no one from our house was killed. Thanks to Holst! He was out there taking on thousands of soldiers all by himself! I don't think it was actually thousands, although I agree, it was an impressive sight. I can see why he's Lester's greatest warrior. I only hope I can reach that kind of skill someday. If you're setting the bar at Hulse, I guess I'd better aim high, too. I mean, being a fellow Merc and all. Kinda nuts to think the Almiran Prince personally led their army against us.
From what I've heard, he's vying with the others for the throne. That kind of motive makes people dangerous. We'd best stay on our toes. You think? I felt like we did a pretty good job of slamming the door in his face just now. If it's a throne he's after, we just kicked him a little further away from it. An embarrassing loss like this ought to deter any other siblings from trying the same stunt. If they're reasonable people, which is a big if, you should trade places with my brother for a while and see how fun it is to keep chasing the Almirans away. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. Huh? We let House Goneril do all the heavy lifting, which isn't fair. And it isn't how you lead. On behalf of my house, I apologize. Oh, right. I forgot you're technically representing your grandfather here. You came through with speedy reinforcements, and for that, I'm grateful. Also, Margrave Edmund showed me your budget for restorations to the locket. I hear you personally intervened to make sure the funds were secured. Very thorough, and very helpful. Between that and your impressive tact on the battlefield, the Alliance will be in good hands once you take the reins. Hey, it's an honor to be accepted by a man as valiant as you. I think we'll get along just fine. That we will. Glad to hear it. So, now that the battle's over... I want to feast until I burst. Come on, let's all go toast to Lester's bright future. Ooh, I'm so stuffed I can barely move. That host sure knows how to throw a party. That's for sure. The nobles would treat us to a meal every now and then back when I was a merc. But it was never anything like this. Thanks for arranging it, uh, Lord Future Leader. Come on, don't call me that. We're just classmates. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We can do better than classmates. What do you mean? Once we're done with the Officers Academy, I was thinking you might join me in Leicester for a while. I may have Regan blood, but I grew up about as far from nobility as you can get. I tend to get the full, who's this upstart treatment around Leicester, so I could use someone reliable at my side. You're hunting a band of mercenaries, right? Well, maybe we can leverage my family's influence to track them down. And then you can do... Whatever it is you need to do. Seems like a solid offer. Better than staying pent up in the academy at any rate. What I need to do is repay what's owed. And yours is just the kind of offer I've been looking for. So I'm in. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> Glad to have you. As the representative leader of the Alliance, Claude narrowly defends Fodlin's locket from Prince Shahid and the Omirans, but the future of the Alliance remains in jeopardy. Meanwhile, a power struggle breaks out in the capital of the Adrestian Empire, and a revolt over the right of succession takes root in the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officer's Academy and permits her charges to return home. Golden Wildfire to war. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers Academy closed its doors. Claude has inherited the leadership of Leicester and toils to unite the nobles in the region.
with Edelgard ruling as emperor of Adrestia and Dimitri sitting on the throne in Fargus. The three former schoolmates are striking out as the next generation of leaders. A new era is dawning in Fodlan, and much teeters at the brink of great change. Edelgard declares war against the central church, causing the first tremor of a major upheaval. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry to make you wait. I couldn't get out of there any sooner. You're looking kind of worse for the wear. Is running the Alliance really that rough? Yeah, well, you know what they say. What doesn't kill you, but enough about me. How are things with you? Mercenary work keeping you busy? Hardly. I came to Regan territory expecting steady work from your house, you know. But it still hasn't materialized. How's a merc supposed to make a living like this? Doesn't matter how much I train my sword arm if there's nothing to swing it at. Right. Sorry about that. I had a feeling your talents were going to waste here. Oh, he had a feeling, did he? Where were those feelings while we were left high and dry for these last two years? I've been getting by guarding the local inns and all, but I'm at the end of my rope here. You mind if I move on? I hear there's plenty of work in the south for a guy like me. Whoa, slow down there, friend. Why do you think I asked you here? I'm ready to make you an official offer. And there it is, just as I expected. Huh, so war is coming then. That's right. The new emperor of Adrestia seems determined to bring a fight to the rest of Fodlan. And many along our southern border are worried she'll come after the Alliance. Hence, all these meetings to plan our response. Are you familiar with the Lester Roundtable? Not much. Just that they're meetings held by some stuffy Alliance nobles. That's basically it. The Alliance crowns no king and bows to no emperor. So instead, we just have a bunch of meetings when we want to get something done. Every last detail of Alliance policy and strategy has to be worked out and agreed upon by the five great lords at the Roundtable conferences. Day after day, we go round and round, arguing and bickering over this or that. And as each of the lords only truly cares about their own skin, we never actually reach a decision on anything. No wonder you look like you've been put through the ringer. Guess being a noble's not all fun and games. You could say that again. And while we sit around twiddling our collective thumbs, the Empire and their army could be right on our doorstep. Nevertheless, I'll find a way to convince the other lords that they need to commit to deploying their troops. The real problem is what happens after. Armies need commanders, and those commanders need to be exceptional warriors that we can rely on. You're not gonna ask me to lead Alliance troops, are you? You, my friend, hit the nail on the head. I want you fighting alongside me as one of the Alliance's commanders. Hold on. I'm not a noble, though. I'm not even a knight. Who cares about titles? Isn't this why you came here in the first place? I came here to help you, as a mercenary. I never thought I'd be commanding troops. Look, you'll be well compensated for your efforts. And you can do this. I know you can. What do you say? Look, I'm sure you'll support me, but do you really think the other nobles will trust command of their troops to a merc like me? No, don't worry about them. So long as it doesn't get in the way of their own personal interests, they won't care one bit. You have the full support of the leader of the Alliance, and that's all that matters. I have high hopes for you, my friend. Now then, looks like I've got a contract to draw up. Look who's here! It's been forever! 
Did you do something with your hair? Nah, probably just lost some weight since you last saw me. You must not be eating enough. Those arms are like chicken bones. I imagine you've been doing a lot of mercenary work. You probably haven't had time for proper meals, what with the way things have been going. Time's not the issue here. Money is. And it's been really quiet in the Alliance, despite what's been going on elsewhere. The last two years have been hard on us mercenaries. It's not easy to land jobs when there's nobody to fight. Sounds like that's all gonna change, at least. So, uh, what are you all doing here? At the last roundtable conference, each of the five great lords agreed to contribute soldiers and officers to the Alliance Army. That's why I'm here. I'm guessing it's the same for you, Marianne? Yes. My adoptive father sent me. I'm in the same boat. Count Gloucester arranged my transfer. Oh, that's right. You're doing the whole night thing for Lawrence's father now. Raphael, didn't I hear your family started an inn? What are you doing here? Claude sent me a letter, asking me to come. And there was no way I'd miss this. Same here. I guess Claude wanted to get all the golden deer back together, huh? That pretty much sums it up. There's no way I'm getting through this war without friends I trust by my side. And there's Claude. Now our little reunion's complete. Well, we are missing Lawrence. Yeah, Count Gloucester sent one of his newest knights in Lawrence's place. Um, yes. I suppose I should apologize for that. <laughs> I have no doubt Lawrence has his hands full protecting the border right about now. And I'm guessing you're not exactly thrilled to see me instead of my brother. <laughs> for the time being, I've asked Holst to see to our defenses in case Almira decides to take another run at our borders. Besides, I'm not about to let the Empire see our best card on the first play. It's always been my plan to have you all here, and I'm sure we'll be reunited with Lawrence before long. After all, we'll be passing through Gloucester territory very shortly. The Aramid River serves as the border between the Alliance and Empire. I imagine we'll want to fortify its banks and close off the Great Bridge of Murden. That is the plan, yes, Claude? That's right. There are many large bridges spanning the Aramid, but the terrain on the eastern bank is less than ideal. The Great Bridge of Muradin is the only one suitable for crossing into the Alliance with a significant military force. So if the Empire is looking to attack us, blockading the Great Bridge will severely limit their options. Of course, that means the enemy will do everything in their power to take control of it. So, while I'm happy to see you all again, I'm afraid we don't have time to reminisce. He's right. We need to get ready to move out. <laughs> mm.
That reminds me. How tiresome.